Hello, my friends, and welcome. My name is Debbie Reed. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Kingston, Idaho. And today I'm going to show you how to make a card with the Oceanfront and On the Horizon uh, stamp set. And this is in our brand new January through June catalog. And it launches today. So I just want to just tell you this is one of my highly recommended two stamp sets for you to purchase if you're considering purchasing. The card we're going to make with this set is this card, and I absolutely love how it turned out. And the inspiration that I had for this card is in the catalog on page 43, and you can buy a suite. I absolutely love the entire suite. So you can buy the Horizon Papers, which are great for doing um, landscape designs. I love the, I love the landscape designs, and I also highly recommend the stone the pebble stones everything in this suite is on the top of my list this is the card that actually inspired sorry shaking the camera this is the card that actually inspired my card and i did make the one from their catalog but i decided i wanted to do a little more stamping and created a little more detailed card so just wanted to let you know the catalog is a great inspiration place and now let me show you how to make this wonderful fun card. So the first thing I'm going to show you is all of the inks. We are going to be using several colors. And the reason is because more color makes for a prettier card. We're going to use Polish Pink, Mango Melody, Evening Evergreen, Crumb Cake, Soft Succulent, Sahara Sand, Misty Moonlight, and Seaside Spray. I also want to just apologize to all of you that I said I would do a Christmas card. Uh, life just got a little crazy in December and I never did get around to doing it. So hopefully I can start out January on more of a positive note and have things flow a little easier. So back to the card. Crumb Cake is our card base, Knight of Navy, and a piece of basic white. I have all the colors and the sizes in the link below. The first thing we're gonna do is use our blends, and I'm going to use one of the Oceanfront stamps, and we are going to create a sunset. I'm gonna use Mango Melody. I'm going to use the brush, and I'm going to, depending on the color that you want, the amount of depth of color you want, you're going to just brush the color on the stamp. I prefer more of the polished pink, and I already used this this morning. So let me just wipe this off real quick. Where is my water? Hold on one second. I was not prepared. I should have had this clean, so, so sorry. Let me just wipe the color off so we can have a fresh start here because otherwise it wouldn't look like mud. I don't want that. So we're going to take, once again, our Mango Melody and I'm just putting a little bit in the center because I don't want it to be predominant Mango Melody. I actually prefer the polished pink to get more of that sunset look. So I'm going to come in with the polished pink and I'm going to come on these edges and just kind of blend the orange in there, leaving just a little bit in the middle that's not touched. Then I'm going to just stamp on the paper and give it a nice press, let it sit there for a minute, just so the ink can transfer. Close this before I get my fingers in it. Okay. And there you have a beautiful sunset. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it does look pretty. So now we're going to take, and I didn't tell you, we also have Memento Black ink. I didn't show you that color, but that's going to be to just stamp these birds in the sky. And let's put the birds so they're in the sunset. Right there. And then we're going to now take Misty Moonlight and we're going to create kind of a horizon. And I'm going to ink that and we are going to use not the detailed side we're going to use this bottom what would i think would be what i'm calling the bottom you're going to tip this point 
a little bit down because we're going to put a tree there and I want the tree to still show. So we're going to just stamp that. Right now it doesn't look like much, but bear with me. And then we're going to come in with our evening evergreen. And let me put a little scrap paper underneath me real quick because let's see where did my well okay we'll use this we're gonna just stamp the this stamp you can see i've used that already this morning i didn't wipe it off but we're gonna put the same color on it so i'm not gonna worry and then stamping this right off of this edge kind of like we're creating a little horizon line right there then we're going to come in with the tree it doesn't look like anything yet still bear with me because it's it's looking pretty messy still but there is a plan and we're going to put this right here okay love creating scenes with stamps okay now we are going to come in i did smear a little bit here i've got some ink on my fingers and this is where we use our lovely mono tombow eraser you probably don't see it but i do and it will bother me okay so now we're going to take Seaside spray, and we're going to continue our little scene with, let me think, what stamp did I use? Oh, we're going to use the same stamp, so I have to wash this off. So let me get this wiped off. One second. Okay. All right, now we're gonna come into the Seaside Spray. Let me make sure that's wiped off. Okay, that is. And I'm going to tip this the opposite direction now. So the tip is up on the top, like that. And I'm gonna just work my way down and now we're gonna turn it and go the opposite direction. And depending on, so this is my little water area, depending on how far down you want it to go, we are going to add some other pieces. So I think I might call this good. Just put one more up here just for, just for good measure. Okay, then we're going to come in with our details. So this is the die cutting that I did. I actually, there's two dies that I used for this. One is the fence, so you get two fences. One's a, a larger one and one's a smaller. We're using the larger one. So you've got the fence and you have this little grassy. And I did this with the horizon paper, so I cut two of these and I die cut the fence. And then there's a stamp in the set that looks like wood grain and I actually stamped that in crumb cake because the photo in the catalog looked like they did that. So that's how I came up with that. And now we're gonna create a scene. We're gonna put this behind the fence and we're gonna put one in front of the fence and we're going to just place this on our card. So just to get a placement idea, I'm just, so I'm gonna take this now because I can see where I need to be. You're just gonna put a tiny bit of glue. You don't need a lot of glue because we're not gluing the top part of this. We're just gluing the bottom just to make sure the bottom is staying in place. I want the grassy part to still be free flowing. So a tiny bit, not much. And we're gonna place this down here so that it just reaches right at the bottom of this river line. And this card is apropos for my home because we have a river that we overlook outside and it is so pretty. And so this kind of reminded me of where I live. 
So I'm going to put this fence here. Now, you can pop the fence up, and I actually prefer to pop the fence up, but I'm going to just tell you, you can make the life really easy on yourself if you just take from the mini dimensionals. There's always this extra border. If you just take your scissors and just cut two little strips. So one and one more. Then this is very easy to put together and I'm just gonna put two little strips on this post. So getting the strips off is probably the more challenge. Okay, then we're gonna put one here just like that. And we're gonna put one on the one two over from it, just because I want it to pop up a tiny bit. Okay, and that one will go right there. Okay, then we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna place this right like you know what, I forgot. I'm gonna trim this a tiny bit too because I forgot. I don't wanna see the fence hanging down below my greenery. So you're gonna just line this up straight wherever you want it over here on the card. So I'm gonna put it like there. And then we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna overlay it onto this, like that. Um, like that. So, once again, you're gonna glue just the bottom. Don't need a lot, just very light. You don't want any glue oozing, just enough to just make it stick. And we're gonna place that right there. So then you get a little bit of that dimension there. And shame on me, because I got ahead of myself. We're gonna pull this up and re-glue that because I forgot to do my little rocks. I'm notorious at getting ahead of myself. So we're gonna stamp these little rocks because I wanted some color going down here. We're gonna stamp one more time. Okay, like that. And then we're gonna glue this back on. Sorry about that, guys. I. I just got carried away. Okay, now we will put this back on here and place this back over here, like that. Okay, now the fence has got that lift so you get the dimension on your card. Now we're gonna do a teeny tiny bit of sponging with Sahara sand, but before I do the Sahara sand, we need to stamp our sentiment, which will be in Misty Moonlight. So let's put that on the bottom so we know where to do our sponging. Okay, we're gonna put this right here. I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas and a wonderful New Year. Great way to start the year. Oh, I'm loving this. Isn't that so cute? And it's so easy, you guys. This is such a fun card to make. So now, because that is drying and I don't want to smear, we're going to put a, a stone here. If you can see, I made a boo-boo right there. We're going to cover it with a stone. So while this is drying, we're going to go to the top. So I was going to do the bottom, but we are going to do the top with Seaside Spray. I want to just make this white, just not so white, even though it still looks pretty. I just like to have a little bit of sky color on here. So you don't need a lot, but just keep the brush moving because you don't want to have a brush spot. So I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's just enough to give it that subtle, it, it's taking that stark white off and just making the scene just a little more complete. 
So then we're gonna come in now with our Sahara sand. And we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom, just to just take away some of this white and make this look like it's part of the scene, intentional. We're, we're, that's it, we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna cover the sentiment, we're just, that's it. Well, maybe not, we'll do a little on the bottom. Okay, now, I want the sentiment to still be vibrant. So, that is the card, and now we're going to glue it onto our Knight of Navy. Okay, and put this right there. And then we're gonna put it on our crumb cake card base. Okay, and fold that and give this a crease with our bone folder. Okay, and we're gonna glue this down and then I will show you the inside. So there is the front of our card. Isn't that just so cute? I absolutely love this. Okay, there's the front. There's the one I did before. Now we are going to add, we're not done. I forgot my little um, stones. And now, I'm gonna have to open a new package because I don't know where I put them. Shame on me. Okay, these are so fun. So we're gonna take our little pit tool because it's easier to pick it up that way. And we're gonna just place these little stones. And I know I have to put one there because I made a mistake. So I'm gonna take this tiny one and put it right there to cover my mistake. Take this one and put it up over here to hold this little fence down right there because I didn't get enough glue there. And we'll take a little gray one and put it up here too. And we'll take another little gold one and help hold this down hopefully. There we go. And I will take one over here and one more over here just to give this a cute look. There we go. I'm gonna have to fix this because I, okay, there we go. It's gonna stick now. That's the front. Okay, now for the inside, we are going to go back to the sunset going to do the same thing. So I have to wipe that stamp off again. And let me grab that real quick and wipe it off. Okay. Okay, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to sponge with the Mango Melody again. Right there. Then we're going to come in with the polished pink again. And it's going to go around. And this one's going to have a little more orange, but that's okay. I'm going to stamp that on the top. Ooh, that turned out really pretty. And every time you do it, they're different. So it just depends on where you get the ink and, oh my gosh, that one looks so pretty and I got ink on the bottom of this again. That's why we do live because then you can see life does happen and it happens to demonstrators too. So I believe in showing you how to fix the mistake. And when you have polished pink, it is definitely a color that you do have to get rid of. So, all right, now we are gonna take 
the soft succulent this time because I wanted the inside to have a little softer feel. So we're gonna take that greenery and I'm gonna wipe this off. because we had it with Evening Evergreen. And now we're gonna ink it in the soft succulent. I'm gonna stamp this right down here on the bottom. And then we're gonna take, in the Misty Moonlight, this cute, adorable little set stamp that says, where would I be without a friend like you? So we're gonna ink that in the mist and light. And we're gonna put that right in the scent in this sunset. And then I'm just going to take the birds. I'm gonna wipe this off also because I am going to use my marker. I just want three of the birds. So I'm going to take my black marker, Let me grab that real quick. And there we are. And we're going to just do these three right there. I'm gonna just ink these up with my marker. And we're going to place that right there. Okay. And then we're going to glue this inside the card. I'm going to just put the glue on the edge, not in the middle, because then when you write on the, on the card, you don't want all that glue to give that ripple. So just on the edge. We're going to glue this down, and that is our card. I hope you liked the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Please consider this stamp set. I think you would just love it. It just does flow easy. It's an easy card to make, a fun card. No two cards will look alike, but they're fun to do. Oh, and I forgot to put the, um, the stones on the inside as well. So you would just put a couple of the little stones on the inside and just give it, you know, or leave it. It's up to you. But thank you for watching. Go make something uniquely yours. Have a wonderful day and make sure you purchase this from the catalog. Thanks for watching. Bye.